Good morning, class. Uh, as I indicated in the morning when I met you, I told you I'll be sending you videos of most of my lectures on my YouTube channel. You're welcome to my class. This is Unit 103, Computer Literacy. And I'm your lecturer, Dr. Peter Piahin. I'm going to start by taking you through the course outline for the semester. So I'm going to share a screen with the course outline with you and I will take you through the course outline. As you can see on your screen, this is the course outline, Computer Literacy and Information Technology. The course code is in A103 and this is the purpose of the course. The purpose of the course is designed to introduce students to how to use computers to process information, create documents, and also disseminate critical information. And at the end of this lesson, that is in terms of objectives, students will be able to create diverse documents using web processor spreadsheet and also presentation. Presentation is also called PowerPoint. And how to also identify range of information sources, like how you can use the internet to search for information, whether academic information or any other information apply effective strategies to retrieve information from the various sources. That is how you can download this kind of information. And also effectively navigate the internet as an electronic uh, resource. Reflect on the rapid changes in technology and also increase availability of electronic resources. And last but one is how to also de demonstrate your skills independently in seeking information and also evaluate and use information more effectively. This is, these are the purpose and also the objective of the course. Now we'll take you to the course outline. Week one, that is what I'm going to, that is what I'm doing today. And I will continue with our lectures. It's introduction of the course. And that is what I'm doing right now. Week one, we will be doing con computer concepts. Week two, introduction to internet, email, and also how to search or surf in the internet for research materials. Week three, we will talk about Microsoft Word, that is how to create a, micro, a, a document using Microsoft Word, formatting and also editing the documents. So we'll be using the various formatting tools that we can use or that you can use in your studies. After the Microsoft Word, we will talk about Excel, how to create a worksheet and also use some charting data within the worksheet. Also, how to also define, design effective worksheet, how to use functions and formulas in Excel. Then from Excel, we move on to PowerPoint. How to prepare your PowerPoint presentation. For example, I know you as medical students, whether nursing or med lab students, your lecturers in the course of your studies here will ask you to come and do presentation. At worst case scenario, your final project where you do a presentation. So this course will take you to how you can prepare PowerPoint presentation. And also how, to, after preparing the PowerPoint, how you can also format and edit the presentation. Then revision will continue on right away. Then end of semester will begin. But as I indicated, because of the COVID, and we'll be using a lot of online portals, or we're using a lot of online applications in our teaching. So in this case, I will take my time to take you through how to use a popular uh, online teaching platform or, or a popular meeting platform called Zoom, which a lot of you have heard. I will take you through how you can use Zoom, how you can download it and install it and also use it. So that in case I'm having my lectures with you online, you can also follow suit. So don't worry, I will take you through these things. When the actual lesson begins. But the assumption is that uh, you don't know anything about computers. So I'm going to take the trouble to take you through computers. 
Because if you don't know the computer, how can you even use the Zoom? How would you even know that the Zoom is an application, whether it's a software or it's even a hardware? So I'll take you to computer concept. So don't worry, I know a lot of you will be wondering, I've not seen computer before, as some of you uh, mentioned in class, I don't know whether you were joking, but me as a, as a lecturer or as a teacher, whenever I'm teaching my students, I start from ground zero. So I all started from level zero. I'm assuming some of you, or I'm assuming all of you have not even seen computer before. This is the mode of assessment for this particular course. We have 10 marks for assessment. And the assessment includes short surprise quizzes, practical assignment, which I'll be giving whether in group or individual. There will also be a semester project. There will also be a, a mid semester, which is 20 months, and end of semesters, and which is system has given us our 100 months. As I indicated, these are some of the reading material, the learning material. But please, as I mentioned in the class, there is no library in the world that is bigger than Google or that is bigger than the internet. So once you have your internet with you, you can search for any material that you want to use to learn this particular course. This is the course outline. I've taken you through the course outline. I will give the hard copy to your course rep. And when I give it to her, I expect that you see her make photocopy so that you can also use it to follow my class. Thank you very much. This is the end of my presentation with respect to the course outline. That is what you are supposed to do for the semester, taking into consideration in a 103 course. Thank you.